Hello lovely people, in this video we will be looking at Down for Sound Easy DSP app for mobile devices. Just a heads up, I do have an affiliate link. If you want to buy something from Down for Sound, you can use that link if you use discount code ROCAT88. And that helps me a lot as well. So in this video, we're going to go through the Down for Sound Easy DSP mobile app. I do have a video made uh, last week probably about the PC program that goes into much more detail than this. This is going to be just a very quick, fast run through. And I'm going to show you which buttons do what and where to find everything when you're going to fire up the app you're going to see this window if the dsp is going to be connected via bluetooth it's going to pop up automatically but in this case i don't have the dsp so i will go into offline mode i'm going to select the 6 to 12 dsp and it's going to open something like this this is your main window where you have your main settings if i'm going to click the three dots at the top right corner we have some stuff to choose from so we have encryption where's your password then we have the noise gate switch again i'm not going to go into very much detail if you want to learn more about that stuff watch the previous video with the software and the pc that is more extensive and there i'm explaining everything more in greater detail then you have the limiter we can choose for each individual channel main source attenuation match the sources between the primary and secondary and you have your shutdown delay where you can adjust the timer uh, until the dsp shuts down the main screen is like this you have six presets if i'm going to click on it now it says offline mode but if you have the dsp connected if you click on a preset you can load it you can save it you can delete it you can do all that stuff lower than that you have the main dsp volume so it by default it sets at 60 you can go up to 66 to have some like gain overlap if you want to tell, say that if you have your amplifiers uh, old school amplifiers that need only two volt or something you can lower the overall volume until you get the output on the rcas as you want and just keep it uh, like that on the right side the green zero volt is your voltage that goes into the dsp again i'm working in offline mode so i cannot see any voltage that's why it's zero the main volume master volume you can, you can adjust it by dragging this or going to plus and minus then lower than that you can mute and unmute the whole dsp lower than that you have your sub level which you can drag or you can click plus or minus and this is your base knob and lower than that you have your sources you have your main source which you can select if you have a head unit you're going to select auxiliary mix source is just secondary let's say bluetooth if you're using your phone this is the main window if you want to reach some advanced stuff we go to advanced and here we have some more things at the very top you see all the channels which is 1 through to 12 lower than that you have your crossovers so you can select the type of crossover you can select the frequency of the crossover you can select the slope so you can do the same for high pass and for low pass lower we have channel gain which you can select and change by dragging or with this plus and minus buttons and this channel gain is not the main volume this is like volume for individual channels so if you have channel one your left tweeter and channel two your right tweeter and if the left tweeter sounds too loud compared to the right one you're going to reduce this one until it sounds the same volume compared to the right side so it's just to match the levels on the bottom left corner we can select the driver name for that channel you can select whatever you want if you don't use it you press no and according to this selection it's going to choose your frequencies for the crossovers so like now i chose woofer it shows 50 to 5k if i'm going to select tweeter it shows just to up to 5k so these crossovers are set just for you to help out but as i mentioned you can choose them and select whatever you want after that you can mute and unmute each individual channel if you want to mute all the channels you just mute channel to mute mute 
mute this is very useful when you're tuning and you want to check only one channel at a time so if you have all the channels muted like this and then you unmute one you can have something playing only through that specific channel it's very useful for tuning on the right side we have 0 and 180 so that's your polarity flip that you can do instead of swapping wires. The zero at the bottom is your phase shift. So we're not going to go into details, but you have the ability to shift the phase in specific degrees and increments. I might make a video about that, but it's some advanced stuff. Uh, not a lot of people use that, so don't worry too much about it. And then you have your reset button where you can reset everything to default or clear and you have your sync where you can copy stuff from left to right or from right to left at the very very bottom we have four tabs which is channel that is now selected then you have delay eq and mix the mix is your inputs and outputs exactly the same as you have in the pc app for example here you can see ble left and right so this is left and right if you have subwoofer you have 50 50 for both in this case it's going to be 100 and 100 if you want to swap left with right you just swap left with right you can do whatever you want so this is your inputs and outputs the second tab delay is your time alignment so here you have your speakers that you select by tapping on them and then you can adjust delay either with a slider or going plus or minus at the bottom you can select milliseconds centimeters or inches whatever units you prefer and then you can group everything so if you want to group for example left and right mid-range you select a group for both mid-ranges and then if we're going to go back and select the mid-range and drag it uh, you're going to be changing the time for both left and right mid-ranges at the same time and the last tab is your eq tab where you have your eq work so let's choose like a mid-range for example this blue line is your frequency response kind of predicted electrical then these bands is band 1 to 31 is your eq bands which you can adjust as you wish so i'm just gonna adjust a few bands just like that you can select the frequency and you can change the frequency to whatever you want you can see the band on the top it just slides through that then you can adjust the q which is the width of the cut you can see the higher the q the narrower the band the eq affects the lower the q the wider the frequencies they affect so we can choose that and the gain up and down you can bypass individual eq bands just like that if you want to bypass all of them there's a button at the bottom called bypass eq you press on it and all eq goes to zero it's kind of bypassed if you restore it it's going to restore whatever was entered before so this is very good to check like the effects of eq do you like it do you not like it something like that then you have these dots for all pass so any eq band you can choose to have it as an all pass filter again we're not going to go into details but it's just it's here and you can reset all your eq down to zero and you can choose between parametric and graphical eq so with graphical as i mentioned before you don't have any kind of adjustment just the gain and nothing else and with parametric you can adjust the frequency and you can adjust the q of the eq cut so i always advise use parametric eq so this app is going to be very useful it's not going to be used for tuning the whole system at once just because it's kind of inconvenient and it's a pain so for that you would want to use a laptop with a bigger screen with a keyboard that you can enter stuff but this is going to be very useful for very quick adjustments uh, for example if you want to find a pesky frequency that kind of bothers you and just to pull it down with eq or just very quickly just change the crossovers like increase it decrease it do whatever like for quick changes and that kind of stuff so this is pretty much it with this app very easy self-explanatory if you want to learn more about tuning check out the other videos on my channel and there will be more about down for sound stuff so as i mentioned use the affiliate link and if you have any questions please pop them in the comments below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one